Hey again, it's Miss Williamson. You should be watching this video right now in order to know exactly how to construct your um, fraction picture. So, we this assignment is called Picture Pie Fraction Art. You are going to think about something that you want to try to create with the different fraction pieces. You can um, click on pieces that I already have and move them on to um, the page. If you want to make a sun, you can grab the yellow circle. Um, I'm going to go through some tips and tricks that will help you to build the best picture possible. So I'm going to use one whole circle for the main part of the sun and for the rays of the sun I want to use eighths. But notice how I don't have any more yellow one eighth pieces. I can do one of two things. I can change the color of these pieces over here by coming up to the paint bucket and simply changing the color to yellow. But if I know I want these pieces over here um, for another part of my picture, then I'm gonna need to copy this one eighth piece. You're gonna find on your keyboard where it says control, you'll find the letters C, T, R, L in the bottom left hand corner. Hold that button and find the letter C and click C. So you need to hold the control button and press C. You can also copy something by right clicking on it towards the right side of your keypad, your mouse keypad, and whoops, and clicking the word where it says copy. After you click copy, you're going to want to click off of that piece right click again and click paste. If you already know how to do this, this should be pretty easy for you. Um, if you want to rotate your fraction piece, you're going to need to oops, click on the piece. And do you see where this circle is right here? You are able to rotate the piece by clicking on the circle and moving it. Oops. Okay, so as you can see, this can get tricky real quickly. So um, make sure you are being super careful when you do this. So I'm only going to have three one-eighth pieces for my son's rays. So again, I'm going to copy that piece and paste another one to get another one. I'm going to click on the circle to move the piece. And actually, I kind of think it looks a little weird with just four. So I'm going to make one more. And there I have my um, my son. And so now I want to make a flower. Um, I'm going to do this by dragging another circle down to the bottom. And I can do the same thing with um, the different petals. Okay. So you can get as creative with this as you want. You could also just make a geometric design. It is completely up to you. But the next part of this assignment is located on slide two. This is slide two. And you're gonna put your name at the top. You are going to type in this box what you have created. Sun and flower. Then you're going to need to type in the number of each type of pieces that you have used. So in my picture, I have used how many one eighth pieces have I used? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to come back to this slide and explain that I've used five eighths. Whoops, five eighths. Hmm, the next part is fourths. Did I use any fourths? No, I did not. The fourths are over here. These are one fourth size pieces. I didn't use any of those in my picture. 
So I'm going to type zero. 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 And the number of thirds that I used, well, I didn't use any of those either. Thirds are over here. Again, you might not use all of the pieces and you might not use all types of the pieces. I only used one half and I actually used two poles. So once you get done with this assignment, make sure you press the turn in button so your teacher can look at your beautiful artwork and your excellent math skills. All right, good luck with creating your picture. Um, there's a few ideas listed below, so check those out.